Are we going to start with squats? We are going... No, let's switch it up. Let's go bowling squats first. <laughs> just because you said that. Okay. Three, two, one. Work. Let's go five per leg. How many seconds do you think that is? Fifteen. Maybe. Twenty-five seconds. Okay. All right, what do you want to do now? Let's do squat. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Let's do Great. Let's go uh, to a get on the ground on your back, and we're going to go into a bridge. And we're yep. And we're going to do bridge and reach. <laughs> Always flirting dangerously with that pole. I know. It's how I like to live my life. Except in a quarantine. That's right. <sighs> and then going from here into a crab. <sighs> so let's squeeze the glutes, drive the hips up, open up the chest. If you want to take it to the next level, you bridge and reach, squeezing that glute, keeping the rib cage down, abs tight. How many is that? Three. Let's do one more per side. Great. Now let's go airplane. So down on your back, arms out to the side. You're gonna kick one leg up to the hand. Oh, airplane, sorry guys. That should be a little bit better. Five per side. Go sideline mid back stretch from there. So pulling both knees up, you're gonna reach forward and reach back, pulling that shoulder blade back towards your spine, keeping the abs tight, ribs tucked up, ribs down, pelvis tucked up. Now let's go five per side. Some dead bugs. Opposite leg, opposite arm. Keeping that back flat on the ground. Pelvis stays tucked up, ribcage stays down, back stays plastered to the ground. Abs stay tight as you move those limbs around the solid core. Harder version is the straight leg. You're good. You're good. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> You're waiting for me. Yes. All right. On your uh, on all fours, quadruped position, and then uh, we're gonna do a, basically a bird dog, but this is called the reach, rock, and lift. And you're just gonna reach the arm out, no leg, and turn that palm up towards the ceiling, and sit that shoulder blade back and down on your back. So just reaching forward, go five per side. Reach forward and lift and seat that shoulder blade back and down, pull it towards your spine, palm goes up. Might feel a little snap, crackle, pop here, that's a good thing. How many are each side? Five per side. 
Okay. All right, then go into the plank position. We're gonna go plank plus. So you're gonna get a solid plank position on your forearms. There you go, butt squeeze, pelvis tucked up, ribs down. And now sink your shoulder blades together on your back and then push them out wide. So they're coming together and then they're flaring out wide. Coming together, flaring out wide. Let's do 10 of those. So just moving from the shoulder blades. Protract and retract the shoulder blades from this position. No sagging in the middle, you're in one solid tight plank. Great. Let's go into a Samson stretch from here. So you're gonna stand up, or uh, that works too. One leg is lunged back, and then you're going to lunge forward, hips come forward and down. And you're gonna squeeze that back glute. Don't hyperextend the back here, so rib cage stays down, pelvis stays tucked up. Squeeze that back glute and get a big global stretch up through the quad into the psoas. After about 30 seconds, switch sides. those hips squared forward, abs tight. All right, then find the spot on the wall or tree or whatever you got available that's vertical. You're gonna put your hands there and we're gonna do an ISO march. So you're driving that heel into the ground, protracting the glute, let's go 10 per side. Push that heel on the ground, lift that knee up. No movement in the lower back, abs stay tight. Core stays braced. You're counting, right? 30. 30, oh, 10 per side. Leg swings. I'm not listening. <laughs> Leg swings. Good. Abs tight. Protect the lower back. Just move from the hip. Like pants. Swings here. Ooh, nice pop. Let's do a quad stretch here. So reach back and grab your toe and squeeze that left glute, drive the hip forward. Just gonna hold that for about 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, switch. Good, squeezing that glute, keeping the abs tight. Stretching from the quad and the hip. Five, four, three, two, one. Squat to stand. Now let's do five of these. Keeping the feet flat on the ground, pulling that chest up. Great. And let's go back towards the garage wall there. We're gonna do some bear crawls. 
So four steps forward, four steps backwards, four times. Pulling knee to elbow, keeping that back, back flat and tight. If you can't go backwards, just go forwards the whole time. Backwards is a little bit harder. It's more shoulder strength. And let's go toy soldiers. So walking toy soldier, opposite leg, opposite arm, being progressive, not aggressive. All right, then let's lunge backwards from this position. We're gonna go Spider-Man to overhead reach, five per side. Take that hand to the instep, so inside hand to inside instep, outside arm is going to rotate up, keep the abs tight, and just pull that shoulder blade back towards the spine, five per side. Actually, we're going to stay on this side and do airplane to windmill, so after five, we're going to come up, arms out to the side, and you're going to pull elbow down to the ground, so you drive that hip back. Spider-Man to overhead reach. Inside hand to inside instep. Rotating at the thoracic spine, the upper back. Abs stay tight. And squeeze that rear glute too. And you're going into an airplane. Elbow going down to the ground. Push that head back. Rotating at the thoracic spine. Pushing that hip back, there you go. Great. All right, so we are gonna do a giant set today. So that's five different exercises. You're gonna need your bands. Um, I'll, I can show a dumbbell alternative for each one. So the first exercise that we're going to do is a split jump or reverse lunge. And why don't we just walk through the first, uh, the first set. So, um, so this is a split jump, and then show a reverse lunge really quick. And then this is a reverse lunge. So you're either gonna do four per leg on reverse lunge or four per leg on split jump. So let's go ahead and hit those. Eight split jumps or four per leg. Develop a little explosivity here. Great. Great, we got 90, 90, so we got 90 each day. Are you counting? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna to go to a half kneeling band press. So you need your doorway hanger or a tree, and you're gonna take your bands. Fortunately, we have this vertical upright. What color band do you want? Black or purple? Okay. You're gonna put it around an upright, or you're going to connect it to your doorway hanger and put it into your door, and we're gonna do um, some banded press. There you go. And if you don't have a band, then this can just be push ups. Um, so she's going to do 10 to 15 per side. And I have the variance because if you're using a tight band, um, a really stiff band, a heavy band, do the lesser amount. And if you don't have a thicker band, then go ahead and rep out 15 with the smaller band. Could you also lay on the ground and do a foot press? They could. Yeah. So if you don't have a band, you can do um, 10 push ups, either from the knees, and you can also do a, a foot elevated push up if you have a countertop or something like this contraption. So this is a half kneeling band press. And you're pulling the shoulder blade back towards the spine and then pressing out. Great. Then we're going to do a banded hip extension. Thank you. So you're going to put the band around your feet and around your shoulders. 
and you're going to drive the hips backwards and then come through. So you're loading the glutes and the hamstrings, the posterior chain, the backside, and then you're going to come through and squeeze your butt at the top. If you don't have a band, you can always do this with a couple of dumbbells with some stiff leg deadlifts, just driving the hips back. And uh, we're going to go 10 to 15 here, depending on your band tension. Stiffer band, less reps. Easier band, more reps. Depends on what you have at home. Great. Then we're going to go back to the banded row. And we're going to go half kneeling banded row. So you're gonna set up in this kneeling position, and then scooching back to get a little bit more band tension. There you go. And if you're gonna pull shoulder blade first, the shoulder blade initiates the action, and then you come through with the rest of the arm and the elbow. But first thing you wanna do is pull that shoulder blade back and down towards the opposite butt cheek or glute. And again, we're doing 10 to 12 here. If you need to make this stiffer, you can also double wrap your band around something vertical or around your doorway anchor and that's going to make this twice as stiff as the single wrap that Megan has here. You can see she's staying square, she's not rotating her body, hips stay square, shoulders stay square, and she's just moving that shoulder blade and elbow. finishing up this giant set with uh, a plate squat. So that can be a plate, it can be a book, it can be a dumbbell, and you're just gonna hold that out and squat. If, um, if this is too uh, challenging for you, you can also just sit back to a chair. Um, and if you wanna go a little bit uh, harder than that, you can do a prisoner squat, which is you have the hands up behind your back. Uh, and we're gonna do 10 of these. Obviously, the more weight you have all held out in front of you, the harder this is going to be. It requires some nice core action to keep everything organized here. Great. So that was uh, the first round, and we're going to do four rounds like that. So we're going back to the split jumps or reverse lunges. Now we're doing four per side or eight. Great explosivity, Megan. Thank you. Then we're going half kneeling band press or push ups. Shoulder blade retracts back towards the spine, then it protracts out towards the side of your back as you press forward. <laughs> 10 if the band is heavy, 15 if the band is easy. And she also has that glute squeezed on the backwards leg, and that helps to solidify the pelvis and put the core in a nice solid position. Abs always stay tight, rib cage stays down, pelvis stays tucked up. Then we're going to the banded good mornings or the dumbbell, um, also called banded hip extensions or the dumbbell stiff leg deadlift. It's all the same thing, driving the hips back and extending through to squeeze the glutes. Push the hips back, load the hamstrings, stretch the glutes, fire through, squeeze your butt at the top. The upper body should not, you shouldn't have any movement above the waist. The back should not be moving at all on these. It should not be bending. 
Notice her back is staying solid and tight, abs are braced tight to protect her spine. And she's just pivoting around the hips in a lever action. Now we're going on to the rows, the single arm banded row. Oh, I'm sorry, and um, I didn't explain the dumbbell version of this. It's just you can do either do a, and if you only have dumbbells at home, you can do a dumbbell bent over dumbbell row, or you can do um, a single arm dumbbell row. I would be putting my hand on something like a bench. A chair. Chair, whatever you got. Hopefully everybody's purchased payments. Love these things. Boy bands are my favorite. Hey, can you see? Uh-huh. Good, so rear glute squeezed. Also hold that right arm up for extra credit. No, not straight up. Oh. <laughs> it just keeps you squared forward. And you get your plate squats or uh, some kind of squat. Squat variation. Squat variation. Squat to chair. Prisoner squat. Doing 10 here. Great job, Megan. That's two rounds down, 50% done. And these are just reverse lunges if you have any kind of knee problems or if you're um, in just starting out. Now we're doing a banded press, which is an all-level activity. Develops really good scapular strength. Whew. They are. <laughs> you know, I, I think you can do these either way, though. I actually like the way you're doing it because you can squeeze the opposite glute and the opposite glute talks to the opposite shoulder blade. So I don't know that you can do these wrong. Well, it was harder the other way. So that's probably good. Right. Yeah, usually they're done with the opposite leg up. Yeah. Uh, retracting and protracting that shoulder blade. Great job. Banded hip extension, aka banded good mornings. Squeezing your butt at the top, driving hips back. Loading the hamstrings. Abs stay tight, pelvis stays tucked up. Rib cage stays down. Got a nice neutral neck there, keeping that in line with your spine. shoulder square, over from that shoulder blade. Squeezing that shoulder blade back and down at the back of the motion, the end range. It's also where the band is the tightest. It's where you get the nice squeeze. That's the difference between a cable and a band. It's a cable, you're gonna have constant tension of the band. You're gonna have this accommodating resistance 
where it's heaviest at the end. Finishing off the round with the plate squats. Shoulder width stance, toes point straight forward or slightly toed out. Abs stay tight, pelvis stays tucked up, rib cage stays down. Big smile. <laughs> Last round. Yep, 75% done. Get a drink of water if you need water. Let's just do it. You're just gonna go right into it. And at home, you can go at your own pace. You can chart the reps if you want. You can add reps. You just want to participate at your level of ability. And if you need any modifications, you can always reach out to us on our Facebook page, VivaFit, on Facebook. Good, so we have the banded press, 10 to 15 here. Those are a little challenging, huh? They are. I think this is a big band. Yeah. <laughs> side first, right? Always. <laughs> Banna, good mornings. Whenever you're doing single-sided movements, it's good to start with your weak side. That way it can catch up. Going into banded hip extension. hips on the banded rows I think it's setting that about chest height that's where you want it on the doorway anchor fortunately she's got this vertical pole it makes it a little bit easier she's wrapping her hand through it some of the kits also have handles that you can connect to the bands that's nice she's gonna move back to get a little bit more band tension uh, first pulls with the shoulder blade as it sits back and down towards the opposite glute. up with plate squats or some kind of squat variation. This could be air squats, prisoner squats, box squats. Good. Those knees externally rotate and open up as you squat. So the hips go back 
and we externally rotate at the hip, open those knees up. Oh, dumbbell sagging a little there at the end, makers. Yeah, good job. 100% done with that. Nice. Good job. Go ahead and take a minute of rest. We're going to need some basic weights, some small light weights, unless you're sick. If you're a sicko, you can get heavy weights. And we're going to do a squat thrust. So squat thrust, you're going to hold the dumbbells in a front rack, so right off the shoulders. You're going to take a shoulder width stance, and you're going to squat and thrust up. Okay, so that's going to be the first exercise. And we're going to do 30-30, so you're going to do 30 seconds of work and 30 seconds of rest. Now the squat thrust can be rough, so uh, if you're a new, you might want to only do 15 seconds of work on this and not 30 seconds of work. Uh, and if you don't have any dumbbells at home, uh, you can just uh, you can do jump squats or air squats for this. So can you demonstrate a jump squat, Nick? So you're just going to squat and jump. There we go. Great. All right. Um, and then you can also just do regular air squats, which we did in the warm up. Good job. All right, then we're going to do the other 30 seconds of work as a cross body mountain climber. So you're going to get on the all fours position. You're going to bring the elbow across the body to the knee. Try and touch the knee. There you go. If you want to make these hurt even more, when you hit the knee, go ahead and slide the knee up the arm. And then pull up. Not like this. Good. I'm sorry. If you want to, uh, this variation, you go same knee uh, up, same knee up. Use it a little harder than the cross body, so you can pick one of those variations that you like. Uh, okay, so 30 seconds of each. We're gonna do five intervals. That equals 10 minutes. Any questions from you? No. Okay, let's do it. Okay. I think that was two whole minutes of rest. I should have asked a question. Okay. Am I not merciful? <laughs> Three, two, one, and work. Squat thrusts. Or jump squats. Or air squats. That's 15 seconds if you uh, want to stop there for the newer attendees. Five, four, Three, two, one, rest. So we can, we can uh, we've got two different variations of mountain climbers. The crossbody is the easier, the same side, knee to lift, knee, elbow to knee to lift is the harder one. 15 seconds, 10 seconds, five, four, Three, two, one, work. Good, knee and lift. Lift up, lift high. Feel those abs contract as you lift. There's 15 seconds. 20 seconds. Five. Three, two, one, and rest. Those are tough, huh? Those are good. Oh, you like those? Uh -huh. Okay. They're less cardio intensive. So yeah. if you want more of the cardio, I would suggest the other one. So when you lift, really tuck the pelvis up and the rib cage comes down. Like yeah, contract. Mm -hmm. 15 seconds. Going back to squat press. <clears throat> 10 seconds. Five. Three, two, one, work. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. How many did you get? Fifteen. Nice. 
I was watching the time. Okay. I'll look at you next time. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Which one are you gonna do? I'll turn the crossbody and then I can give you a good. Great. Five seconds. <laughs> Three, two, one. Work. Oh, you're going fast. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Five. Three, two, one, and rest. And? Uh, that's more cardio. Yeah, yeah. when I feel more abs. Yeah. Fifteen seconds. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and squat press. Thrusters. Thrusters or squat press, actually. Can be confusing. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Five. Three. Two. One. And rest. Right, did you get fifteen again? Fourteen. All right. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Got one of the mountain climber variations here. Five, four, three, two, one. Get some. seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Ooh. That was our third. Yep. You're sixty percent done. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Squat thrust, thrusters, squat thrust, something like that. Good. Megan's using a little hip drive to propel those dumbbells up overhead. There's 15 seconds. 20 seconds, 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good job. 70% done with this. Then we got abs of titanium. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Mount climbers. I think it's going cross body on this one. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Eighty percent done. 
Right? That was one full. 80%, you got two more rounds. What? Oh, well, you're right. One yes. full round, two more exercises. Yes. That's what I'm saying. 15 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one, work. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Press. Done with those. Finish up with mountain climbers. How you doing, next? Good. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Get some. Hold on to your knee and sliding up that tricep. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest. Good job. I don't think there's time for checking. We're going to have time for one. What's your favorite? Why don't we teach the hollow rock? Okay. So let's go ahead and take 30 seconds of rest. You need, to, you need some water? Okay. So we're gonna teach the hollow rock, so we'll play it this way. So when you get into a hollow, you are going to point your toes, your arms are gonna be back behind you. And as you pull your pelvis up and your rib cage down, you get in a banana leg position here. So the back is flat on the ground. And this is up only because you're tight, right? You're not lifting your legs. You're actually just contracting the core so tight that the legs are up and the arms are back. So you can just go into a hollow hold. And it's easier if the hands are by the side, by the way. So this is your beginning hold here, which you can hold for 30 seconds or you can have the arms go back and you can hold that for 30 seconds. And then finally, you've got the hollow rock, which you can do for 30 seconds. And harder yet would be the hollow rock with the dumbbell, which May is gonna do for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, work. There you go. Try to hold that a little bit further back behind you. <laughs> and you're done. <laughs> All right, there you go. Oh. Your toast? Oh my god, I just did a minute before this. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Oh. Alright, I think I failed you on that one. <laughs> Good job, everybody. I had somebody even dropped. I'm like, I'm out. No, no, that was a modest twin brother. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good job, guys. Awesome.